Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY, and on today's episode, we are gonna start assembling the mystery engine. So stay tuned. As you can see, we are in a brand new space, and this space is my new garage. Now, I haven't done a reveal on this yet because the garage is not quite finished yet, but stay tuned for that. I will be doing it very soon, hopefully. Now, on today's episode, we are going to begin to put together the Mystery 1275 that I have here. This engine, for those of you who don't remember, it's been a little bit since this was on the channel. This engine was something I picked up. I was thinking it was a 998, maybe even an 1100. It turned out after opening it up that it was actually a 1275. So naturally, what I was going to do is do a full rebuild on this top to bottom and make it a perfect original spec 1275 um, that I would then sell on on the channel. But while I have been away, I have also been chatting with my folks on Patreon. I have a private Discord channel for all of my patrons and one of my patrons decided this is an engine that he wanted to purchase. So he went ahead and put a deposit down on it. And as a result, the spec of the engine ended up changing just a little bit. It got a lot cooler. There are a ton of really, really nice parts that we're gonna go in and put on this engine now. Um, and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a ripper. It is gonna be a quick 1275. Um, it's actually gonna be a 1293. Now today's episode is gonna be similar to all of the other episodes that were in this series in that I am not gonna be doing a how-to DIY kind of style video on these. Um, I am going to be covering the processes that I am you know, putting the engine together, but I'm not gonna be diving in into the individual um, details on this. So if you're looking for something a little bit more detailed, I do have a few videos and playlists. Those should be popping up in the corner of various engine builds I've done over the years. Now, for those of you who are wondering about the turbo engine, don't worry, it's right over here. And that is gonna be coming up relatively soon, still waiting on some parts from the car kitchen and, um, and various other ancillary bits that I, I just can't put that together just yet. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions throughout the process, feel free to post those in the comment section below.
to interrupt your uh, regularly scheduled program here to show you guys what has been done to the cylinder head uh, for this 1275. It was cleaned at seven mini parts. Then each valve seat was repressed in with brand new hardened valve seats cut specific to the brand new oversized valves. And these are all done professionally by a seven machinist. And then of course the head itself was skimmed along the bottom to bring a nice tight seal to the new engine. If you need a complete rebuild on your classic mini head, make sure that you check out 7 Mini Parts. A link to the service is in my description. Now back to your originally scheduled programming.
Wow, what a beauty that engine turned out to be. I am really, really impressed with all of the DSN bits. I'm always really impressed with DSN, but man, when everything is all put together on that green and, and the, uh, the like brushed and, and polished alloy colors, all of that, ooh, just looks so good. I cannot wait to get this into the hands and into the engine of the new owner, which I am hoping to share with you guys here very, very soon. But if you guys have any questions about this video, I know it was a little bit unusual because it wasn't a full DIY episode like we normally do, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to post those in the comment section below. And don't forget, just because I didn't show something in the time lapses, it does not mean I didn't do it. Um, the nature of engine builds is there's a lot of kind of little odds and ends that you have to do throughout the whole process, which I have covered at length a few times in a few other episodes, my turbo build, my supercharged build, um, <laughs> Bad Wolf version one, list goes on and on. Now, if you guys want to pick up any of the parts that I used on this engine, um, I have put together a mostly complete list in the uh, description below. Um, anything that you pick up from 7 Mini Parts is an affiliate link, so if you click on those links, you're gonna be helping out my channel as well as getting yourself some really cool parts. I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to them for rebuilding the cylinder head, um, enlarging those valves, and doing just, as usual, an incredible job on this, uh, on this head rebuild and helping to supply this engine with everything it needs to breathe really, really nicely. So that is gonna wrap up this episode. And until I see you guys on the next one, enjoy those minis and motor on.